Hello guys and welcome to this video about Salter Harris classification of pediatric physical injuries. So this classification was created by Salter and Harris in the 1963 and it is the most widely used classification for pediatric physical injuries at this moment. And in this video, I'm going to talk about a definition for this classification, then I'm going to list the grades for this classification, then I'm going to talk about each grade separately in details. So let's start. So it's a five grades system to describe physical injuries. And it is based on the fracture location in relation to the physis, which is the growth plate. Physis means growth plate and in relation also to the metaphysis and to the epiphysis. And it is also based on the fracture pattern and the prognosis of the fracture. And those injuries occur in children and they involve the physis, which is the growth plate. So for the classification, we have five grades. Grade one is a transverse fracture through the, the physis and grade 2 is a transverse fracture through the physis and deviates to the metaphysis. Grade 3 is a transverse fracture through the physis but this time it deviates in the other side which is to the epiphysis. Grade 4 is a fracture that passes through the epiphysis, physis and metaphysis and grade 5 is a compression injury to the physis. So now I'm going to explain each grade in more details. So we have this drawing here. So this drawing is uh, for the for uh, one end of the of a long bone. We have the epiphysis here, and we have the growth plate, which is the physis here, and we have the metaphysis right here. So. For grade 1, grade 1 is a transverse fracture through the hypertrophic or calcified zone of the plate. The calcified zone is the most proximal to the metaphysis. And the growth plate state here is not injured. And because we, the growth plate is not injured, this, is, this grade have good prognosis. And this is wrong here explaining this grade. So we have a fracture transverse fracture through the hypertrophic calcified zone of the plate here and the growth plate as we can see here is not injured and this is this ha this is great have good prognosis the grade 2 is the transverse fracture through the growth plate and it deviates away from the growth plate to split off a triangular metaphysial fragment of the bone so the fracture here is a transverse through the growth plate, but it deviates to the metaphysis. And the growth plate is not injured here also, and it is the most common grade. And because of that, because of the growth plate is not injured, this grade have good prognosis. This is wrong here, explain this grade more. So we have a transversal fracture here through the calcified zone of the plate and it deviates into the metaphysis right here and the growth plate as we can see is not injured here and because of that we ha this grade have good prognosis a grade 3 on the other side is a transverse fracture through the physis but this time it deviates into the other side which is the to the epiphysis and the growth plate state is injured in this grade and because the growth plate is injured this grade have good poor poor prognosis and uh, the fracture here is intra-articular so this drawing explains this grade so it's a transverse fracture through the calcified zone but it deviates into the epiphysis but when it deviates to the epiphysis it cuts the growth plate here 
and because of that, the growth plate is damaged and the cigarette have poor prognosis. A grade 4 is a fracture that travels through the epiphysis, the physis and metaphysis. This time it cuts them, it cuts all the layers. It cuts all the, uh, yeah, it cuts all the layers and it is liable, liable to displacement, which if happened, results in a symmetrical growth. And the growth plate stage is of course injured and because of it is injured, it has poor bonosis and it is intra-articular. So we have this drawing here. So the fracture is passing through the epiphysis, the growth plate, and in, in, to the metaphysis here. It cuts them all and it is liable to displacement. And it cuts the growth plate, so it has poor prognosis. A grade 5 is a compression injury of the physis, longitudinal compression injury of the physis. And the growth plate state is, of course, injured, it's a compression injury, and it has the worst prognosis of all. And as we can see here, the growth plate is compressed here, and this is the, this is going to have the worst prognosis. Yeah. Finally, I want I want to mention a mnemonic for this classification to to easily remember this, classif this classification. So the mnemonic is S A L T R, which is Salter. So it's S for the first grade, which is slipped, means a transverse fracture. Grade, uh, the A is for above, which is the second grade, which is a transverse fracture, then it, it goes above to the metaphysis. Grade 3, or the third letter here, the L, is for lower, which is the grade 3, which this, this time it deviates to the lower, which is the epiphysis. And the T is for through, which is the fourth grade, which means it's a through the epiphysis, the metaphysis, and the physis. And the final letter, which is the R, is for ruined, means compression injury, which is the grade five of this classification. And that's it for this classification. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, and see you in the next one. Peace.